Hi, welcome to Beds of Vineyards in Oregon's Willamette Valley. This is about grafting grapevines, and specifically grafting Pinot Gris into Chardonnay. Did you believe you can do that without replanting? Hi, I'm Ron Benza, proprietor of Benza Vineyards, and we want more Chardonnay for our sparkling program. So we took this block, block eight, which is those two acres you see with the arrow, and we decided we're gonna take that in Pinot Gris and turn it into Chardonnay. It starts with budwood that looks like this. Those buds are actually still living even though they're detached. Next, we take that budwood and cut them down into six inch lengths like this, being careful to have at least two buds on those six inches. Now the fun begins. Each one of the trunks is cut off leaving the stump of what you see here. Two slits are made on either side to receive the, the new grafts. There the grafter is sharpening and whittling down so that they fit better. He then taps them into place and with his roll of tape he gets ready to wrap those new grafts right around the trunk there, keeping them firmly into place. At this point, it's rinse and repeat 2,400 times. That's how many vines we're converting over to Chardonnay. The last thing that's done is to put this heavy tar-like substance over the top of the tape and over the top of the cut vine. And even if you notice up top, over the top of the new grafts. And the reason for that is the water propulsion system of the vine, the deep roots, is still very much there. It's the reason we wanted to graft in the first place. And it's got a lot of pressure and that water pressure will push those new grafts out uh, unless we take some action to seal the water from spilling out and as well uh, guard against the water ruining our new grafts. One of the ways that we, we do that is on a periodic basis the grafters will come back and they will literally slash each vine much like this and let the water leak out on the sides. And that's done to an Excel spreadsheet so they know exactly how the vine reacts to the water being pumped up from below. And now we wait. It's all we can do. Nature's got to take its course right now. So we're looking at the buds. Are they, are they starting to swell? Looks like they are here. But is it from the actual energy in the budwood itself? Or is it from the graft union? Did the graft union really work? We'll have our answer and there it is. That's what we want to see. The buds have pushed out on their own and they're starting to open up and leaves are starting to furl out. And that's how we know that the graft has been successful and is actually being powered by the root system of the plant itself. There's so much energy in the plant from the root system that it too will send up suckers at the base of the trunk. But if we let that sucker grow, healthy as it looks, it'll be back to Pinot Gris and we don't want that. So we'll take it off. And now we've got to deal with the 2400 trunk heads that we cut off. Best way to deal with that is to burn it. That way it doesn't sporulate and cause other problems in the vineyard. In fact, this is maybe the subject of the next video in the series. So if you want to see that pile go up in flames, check back with us. To learn more, contact us at Benza.com or follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Benza Vineyards. Take care. Bye-bye.